Are we saying that a deputy speaker, Benjamin Kalu, is making a U-turn because I could remember when he was making mouth that a, oh, they're going to repay Tinubu's Tinubu back because of his good work and they are going to use a, the governor of Abia State as a scapegoat. That's okay. Um, Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State, is a good man, but they want a better person. But that does not mean that uh, he's going to have a second term. When everybody started, you know, dragging him left, right, and center, I think he's not making a U-turn. That that was not what he said. That he was being misquoted, and now he wants to take legal action over distortion of his statement. Like seriously, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Benjamin Kalu, has accused Spin ninety-five point three FM of allegedly misinforming the public with a distorted interview. Kalu threatened a lawsuit against Spin 95.3 FM after posting a distorted interview on their TikTok page. The distorted interview has led to confusion and controversy, damaging the reputation of the deputy speaker. Uh, are you not defending it in a way again? Wow. Legit.ng okay, also confirmed that he says so. Yeah, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Benjamin Kalu said he will consider legal action against two media organizations over distortion, distortion of his statements. He stated this while reacting to the controversy due to conflicting reports from ABN TV and Spin 95.3 FM. During the interview on ABN TV, Kalu discussed his friendship with Abia State Governor Alex Oti and the possibility of him joining the All Progressives Congress APC. Kalu stated, he said, Alex Oti, being my friend for a very long time, every governor in Abia State has always received my support, but we have to push the interests of our party to take over the state. However, Spin 95.3 FM allegedly distorted the original interview, misinforming the public. Their version quoted Kalu as saying, I will not be the number six citizen of the country and another party will give, we govern my state. APC will determine who will become the next governor of Fabia State. I have told him in person, I have told him publicly, and that the APC governor will be the next in Abia State. In response, Kalu threatened a lawsuit against Spin 95.3 FM prompting the radio station to release a statement claiming they did not interview the inter uh, the deputy governor or the deputy spokesperson nor produce a or post the interview spin 95.3 fm alleged that they obtained the video from abnzv social media platforms and credited them when posting it on their tiktok page however abntv counted with a statement challenging spin 95.3 fm to reproduce the part of their watermarked video that matches the content shared they stated they stated that they granted the interview to kalu which was posted on their facebook and youtube pages spin fm was challenged to explain how their watermark disappeared in the content shared and stamping their watermark on the content they never originally produced ABN also asked Spin FM to explain how they got the strange parts they edited, which was not part of their interview or, or the interview originally released before the last protest. The distorted interview has led to confusion and controversy, damaging the reputation of Kalu. Honorable Obi Agwacha of the Labour Party said there is no vacancy in a in abia states in 2027 for the apc to take over he described carlos comments as condescending denigrating and disrespectful towards both governor Alex oti and the labor party okay so there is a confusion here and there so i don't think uh, there's any big deal here yeah, saying that he wants to take it to he wants to uh, uh, charge, you know, file a legal suit, legal suit against them. What well, is his opinion and is his uh, right to do whatever he feels that is uh, an insult or denigrating his person? So, those who are accusing themselves now they know what to do. 
um since he said he did not say so and there's this a uh, controversy among these uh, uh media houses i think they will be able to sort that out meaning that uh, he's not uh, he can't even different to that uh, level <laughs> okay mm. well oh god deliver nigeria now let's see nigeria must be delivered nigeria must be delivered yeah you know this man has been running his mouth all this way and i think the reason why this whole thing is turning the way it's turning to is because of the way people have dragged him and he knows that uh, alex ot is more loved he's well loved he's more loved in the states and he's proving that until are proving otherwise but as for for now everything is going fine so they have dragged him and now he's seen it as a a means of trying to tarnish his image I will see where all of this will lead to uh, this is a lesson to all of them you got to be very very careful in whatever you see you need to choose your ways especially when somebody's being loved and you want to go and be uh putting your mouth or trying to um uh, you know oppress the person let me just put it that way it will come for you unless if it's somebody that is not loved you see that it's not only the we're not talking only about the politicians who can defend their party member we are talking about the general public and that is the same uh, privilege peter Obi is having left right and center so next time when alex Oti, when benjamin carlo is talking he will know how to choose his words so guys i'll leave your comment down there below and let's have your uh, opinion